Tomahawk Creek Middle School and we make hands for Enable the Future recipients. In the summer of 2014, we decided to name ourselves Hands Building Hands. Enable the Future is a volunteer organization that uses open source files to make hands for those with limb deficiencies. Those limb deficiencies range from missing hands due to amniotic band syndrome to wounded warriors. In 2014, the TCMS Tech Club went to the Central Library and met Doc Davies, an Enable volunteer. Ten of us learned how to 3D print and assemble 3D printed hands. That October, we went to our first RVA Maker Fest and learned, or taught people how to make these 3D printed hands. There we met Austin and her family. She's a sophomore from Collegiate and she has amniotic band syndrome, so she does not have a left hand. There we had a test hand, we let her use it, and it worked. The next so, day, oh, <laughs> sorry. So she agreed to let us make one for her. The next day, we traveled to Baltimore, Maryland for the first Enabling the Future conference at Johns Hopkins. <laughs> There were over 400 attendees, ranging from medical professionals, families, to even artists. While we were there, we met Paraquin and Luke, two boys who, with their fathers, designed their very own hands, and later, for others. Later in the day, attendees broke up into groups to build hands for those in need. Luckily, we were able to finish assembling Austin's hand that day, since they had her size and her favorite color, Tar Heel Blue. It was an experience that changed us all. When Austin came to TCMS, she assisted us to build her second arm made of glow-in-the-dark fibers. She also assisted us to build a hand for a young man named Evan. Evan is 16 years old and lives in Ohio. He was our first pair through enabling the future. When the students met him on a Google Hangout, we asked him, we asked him questions such as what color he would like his brand new arm. He chose bright red. On our last Google Hangout with Evan, we were all very emotionally touched by how happy he was with his brand new arm. One of the other people that we are assisting is a nine-year-old girl named Hardy who had a stroke before she was born and cannot use her right arm. Because she still has an arm and cannot use it, we have to come up with an original design. It is a little bit more challenging, but will be worth it when we get to see how it helps her. One of the other people that we are assisting is a young woman named Landry who was born without her forearm. Even though she is missing one of her limbs, she still went to college and got degrees in film and photography. We are going to do everything we can to help both of these inspirational young women get their free hands. We are Enabling the Future.